Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus up here in Exodus 16. Today we're looking at verses 22 through 24. Let's read it. Now on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for each one. When all the leaders of the congregation came and told Moses, then he said to them, This is what the Lord meant. Tomorrow is a Sabbath observance, a holy Sabbath to the Lord. Bake what you will bake and boil what you will boil, and all that is left over put aside to be kept until morning. So they put it aside until morning, as Moses had ordered, and it did not become foul, nor was there any worm in it. So I want you to notice here that God provides bread every day of the week. So I want you to notice here there are three miracles going on here as we look at God's provision. One, he's providing food six mornings a week to his people. It's going to be for a long time. Two, on the seventh day, on the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week, more or less for you and I, it is our Saturday. On the seventh day, there will be no manna provided. So the second thing is that on the sixth day of the week, God's going to provide double double of the manna. And the third thing is that on the seventh day, he's providing no manna, but the miracle he does on the seventh day, the Sabbath, Saturday more or less for us, that miracle is that the food that is gathered on the sixth day is going to be preserved. It will not breed worms and stink. It will not breed worms and be ruined. It will be preserved and will be edible and just fine on the seventh day. So one day a week, the, the, the holy blessed Sabbath day, God is working a miracle. There's three then miracles that are happening. Again, the provision for the six days, the double on the sixth, sixth day, and the preservation of that gather on the sixth day, some of it on the seventh day. So God works uh, miracles all surrounding his six day, seven day, his Sabbath cycle to the seventh day, the Sabbath. He's going to work that out every week for a number of years here. I think the Sabbath stuff is kind of important. I think a lot of Christians are neglecting the Sabbath. And there's a lot of arguments. Oh, the holiness of the Sabbath was transferred from one day to another. It's now on Sunday. Well, the Bible does not say that. Oh, the Sabbath has been done away. Now Jesus is our Sabbath. Well, we certainly have our rest in Jesus, but, but the Sabbath, the Ten Commandments are all still there. Did one of them sort of take and be thrown away? Did God take one of his Ten Commandments and throw it away? Absolutely not. Oh, there's so many arguments about the Sabbath. And you know what it really amounts to is a lot of people don't want to observe it. God's given plain instruction, and yet this is his blessed holy day. He made it for man, It's but it's God's day, and that has never changed. It never will change, and we might want it for convenience or whatever. You might want it to be on a different day. You might be taught that by your teacher, by your preacher, that the Sabbath has actually been moved over to Sunday. Find me some scripture on it. Find me a Bible Bible that makes it absolutely plain that that's what was done. And there's no such thing in all the Bible. And so our loving Lord wants us to keep his day that he made for us. He wants us to keep it holy and be in connection with him and rest from all of our works and rejoice in the rest and the salvation he provides to us through Jesus. So these passages here about in Exodus 16 about the Sabbath and the manna and all this, it's very interesting because this is a forgotten teaching Christians today in the modern world, we many times are just utterly ignoring the Sabbath for no good reason. There's no Bible reason to ignore it. This is a blessing from God. Why would you ignore his blessing? Anyway, God is ready to bless you on his seventh day Sabbath. I hope you're not missing this really beautiful blessing from our personal loving God. See you tomorrow morning.